All righty, guys. What's up? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. So, a few episodes ago, I was under the impression that, you know, even Rain Dance, while having a Moko, a Sligu, you know, uh, using Rain Dance and all that stuff would, would actually help it evolve until I, you know, eventually found out that, no, the environment has to still be raining and all that crud. And, uh, well, I did, a, I did a few things in order to conjure up the rain in a specific region and all that stuff. And here it is, guys. We finally did it. Moko is growing up to be a bigger Moko. Just a big old booger and all that stuff. Yeah, it took me a bit, guys. Probably like 15 minutes or so just to level this Pokemon up. And, well, there you have it, guys. The final form to Moko. Say hello to Gudra. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So we are back, and well, let's take a look at our newest Pokemon right here, Moko, the Gudra. So as you guys can see, it is a pure Dragon type Pokemon, and its stats has gone up immensely, except for its physical defense. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna talk about that, but it still has Sap Zipper, which boosts up its attack when hit by a Grass type and all that stuff. And uh, well. It's gonna, it is a good addition to us. A special attacker. This is exactly what we needed. And, uh, well, we still got one more Pokemon to evolve and get rid of, and get, get ready to just destroy everything. So, here we are back in Geosenge. And as you guys already know, the secret weapon, the ultimate weapon right here, has been, uh, has been lifted and all that stuff. So now we have got to stop these guys. And this guy right here is gonna be like, you better have, be, uh, you better come here prepared, both you and your Pokemon. Ah, and the famous pose. Okay, so here we are taking on a Team Flare Grunt, and yes, he is going to be coming out with his main neck trick, so let's go right ahead and give him an introduction to Star Fox right here. Let's go. Star Fox, how's it going? It's been a while. Not really. And we're going to be doing a Psychic Attack just to finish this guy off, so here we go. Psychic Attack for the win. Alrighty, okay. Okay. So Star Fox gets some points right there, and well, let's see, he's coming out with a Scrafty, so let's go right ahead and use Nacho Libre for this one right here. Alrighty, alrighty, let's go. Nacho Libre, looking like a pure Lucha Libre star and all that stuff. Let's go right ahead and use a high jump kick. Anywho, yeah, we, we missed badly, and here comes a facade attack, so this one won't hurt us as much, but we got to hit him again with a high jump kick, and here it is, high jump kick for the win, and there you go. What now? What now? And we got a little bit more points right there. Jordan the Goat gets to level 55 and is learning Leaf Blade, so let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Leaf Blade... The user handles a sharp leaf like a sword and attacks cutting. Oh, okay, so a critical hit. Okay, let's go right ahead and do that. Let's do it. Let's be uh, let, let's be more physical with all this stuff right here. And look at this, Nova grows to level 53. And well, he's gonna be coming out with a gold bat right here. So let's go right ahead and switch it to Nova. See what this guy can do. Alrighty, let's go. How's it going, Nova? Please don't lose this one. Please don't. Okay, so here we go. Thunderbolt attack. Let's see if we get this for the win. And bam. Golbent defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. And, uh, well, Team, uh, Team Flare Grunt is not so happy right here. So he's going to be like, behold the moment of my defeat. Don't even think about blinking. Yeah, don't be blinking. Anywho. This guy's going to be like, Lissandra does whatever he can to help us realize our goals. Surely he deserves respect for that. Not really. Not really. Okay, so here we are going into the secret lair that, you know, we, we, we've been, well, we've known for quite some time. And, well, somebody's going to be like, Draven, I'm coming with you. When I was in Lissandra's lab, the mass heroes told me what was going on. They also told me that what Team Flare's plans to do with the ultimate weapon. Come on, let's stop Team Flare. No, he get he has or wait, wait, wait. No, we have to stop Lissandra himself. Ah, the world isn't corrupt enough to give up on yet. Oh, okay. So let's go right ahead and uh, finish this off right here. Alrighty. So, here we are going to be going to Team Flare's HQ. 
And, uh, well, we're going to be going down, down, down. Mm-hmm. And, well, nothing to see here, guys. We're just going to be going into the whole area. And, well, here we have all the Team Flare grunts just looking, doing their thing and all that stuff. Now, I want to introduce another Pokemon right here for you. I am going to go with uh, our good old buddy, Moko. I want Moko to actually just, like, destroy people right here. So, let's see what we got. Okay. So there's Lissandre, and he's looking over something. All menacing. He's like, the ultimate weapon's flower has finally bloomed above the soil. Don't you find its beauty and cap uh, captivating? As we speak, it draws its energy from the legendary Pokemon. We're not going to let you use the ultimate weapon. Even though resources, space, and energy on this planet are limited, the number of people and Pokemon has increased into an unsustain unsustain or uns unsustainable level. I cannot pronounce stuff. Holy buckets. Whether it's uh, money or energy, the ones who steal are the ones who win this world. But that doesn't give you the right to destroy everyone, but it, but the ones Team Flare chooses. So, tell me, the Mega Ring, did you share it? That's different. We competed for it, but when there is only one of something, it can't be shared. When something can't be shared, it will be fought over. And when something is fought over, some must survive without it. The only way to create the world where uh, people live in beauty and a world without conflict or theft is to reduce the number of living things. What about Pokemon? Dot, 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 dot. Wow. He is a, a dramatic type. Tears? Why? Pokemon. Shall no longer exist. Pokemon are wonderful things, beings. Humans have worked with Pokemon and we have helped each other flourish. But precisely because of that, they will inevitably become tools for war and theft. Enough of this! You want to stop the ultimate weapon and I refuse to do so. So I will keep you busy for just a moment. Okay, so here it is guys. We are going to be taking on Lissandre for a second time right here. And, well, his Pokemon have grown just a tad bit. As you can probably notice, he's got himself a mind, a mind shout. So here we go with big old Moko right here. Time to defeat this guy. Let's go with a Dragon Pulse. And, yes, we have avoided the high jump kick. This gives us a little bit of leverage. And, well, here comes Dragon Pulse for the win. Say hello or say goodbye to Mind Shout. Oh, yes. Get a little bit more points. And, well, Nacho Libre grows to level 56. Can't go wrong with that. And here comes Gyarados. This seems like a job for Nova. Let's go. Nova, how's it going? What it, what it do? What it do? And, well, here's Gyarados using his Intimidate. And what we're going to do is we're going to go straight for a Thunderbolt attack right here. And this... We'll finish off our good old buddy Gyarados. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. And Blade grows to level 54. And here comes Power Roar. So let's go right ahead and go back to Moko right here. Now, we can, we can definitely count Moko as a Water-type Pokemon because it kind of looks like it. And uh, what was the other thing, too? Oh, yeah. I did see in Pokemon Legends, yes. Uh, what was it called? Um, it... There is what a there is a, a, a Hisuian form of uh, of our good old buddy right here, uh, Gudra. Would like to see it, and here comes a Hyper Voice. Alrighty, we're still not uh, we're still not getting this guy. What the heck? Come on, this is unacceptable. Come on, Moko, and there we go, Moko doing his thing, nearly defeating Pyroar. So let's go right ahead and hit it with the juggler or hit it in the juggler with. A good old Dragon Pulse, and oh my god. That's all this freaking thing can do. There you go. Look at that. Alrighty, so Moko has fought his way to another victory, and here we are at level 53. And, well, here comes Honchkrow, a very, very powerful, very physical Pokemon. So, we're going to be switching it up back to Nova right here. Alrighty. Let's do this. Let's go right ahead and use a Thunderbolt attack. And hopefully this will beat Honchkrow. And it does. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. 
So that's another victory. And uh, yes, sir, we have defeated Lissandre yet again. As you guys can see, the strength to protect, huh? But what are you really protecting? A tomorrow that will only end up in being worse than today? Man, such a negative Nelly right there. Holy buckets. Okay, so what's up? You're as strong as ever. But it's too late. There's no hope for you now. Go down to the lowest floor and you see and, and see for yourself. It's not over yet. Sensei, let's look for the legendary Pokemon. Trainers are protected by Pokemon, but they protect Pokemon too, right? Look, you can see the entrance to the lower uh, floors over there. Ah, okay. And well, let's go right ahead and take a look at what's going on there. You see that? That is a big old flower. Or egg. Whatever it is. I don't know, but we have to save it. Okay, so it is time to start battling anything and everything, guys. And, uh, well, let's see. Going to be switching out Mokul. Let's go right ahead and go with Jordan the Goat. And uh, let's just let's just finish off everybody. And, you know, our girlfriend right here, she doesn't want to leave us. And, uh, yeah, she doesn't heal up our Pokemon that easily. So every step of the way, we're going to be finding ourselves... Team Gla or Team Flare grunts and Team Flare somewhat admins or something like that. So here it is, guys. A double battle with an admin and a grunt. They both have one Pokemon right here. So this, yeah, this should be easy. So here we go, Meowstic and Jordan the Goat right here. And well, let's see. Let's go with a Bulldoze attack. Hopefully this. Well, hopefully it will defeat. Oh wow. Okay, so. Never mind. It, it turns out that she's got it. I, I was I was trying to beat that Pokemon, but I guess it wasn't gonna do anything. So here comes a bulldoze attack. Everybody's getting hit, and my bad, Meowsic. And well, Lipert, yes, he's gonna go for a night slash, and that right there will finish off Meowsic. So I, well, either way you look at it, either way you look at it, Meowsic was gonna go down. And well, let's go right ahead. And go with a Leaf Blade attack right here. Newest move. And here we go. Leaf Blade for the win. Say goodbye to Lifebird. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And, well, Star Fox grows to level 58. In his learning Magic Room, this move right here is a, a very interesting one. The user creates a bizarre area in which the Pokemon's held items lose their effects for five turns. Hmm... Hmm. That could work for us. That could work for us. Uh, but I kind of like light screen. So let's go right ahead and keep the old moves. And well, there you go. Nova grows to level 54 right there. And well, yes. These guys are these guys are complaining because we don't have suits and somehow we we beat them and all that stuff. So Let's move on right here, going on to another floor. And again, we're going to be finding a whole bunch of Pokemon trainers. As you guys can see, more admins, more grunts. They're trying to stop us in all that crud basket. So here we go, taking on these two yet again. And, well, it's another admin and a grunt. So let's go right ahead and take on both their doggy Pokemon right here. So again, Meowsic and Jordan the Goat, and I believe... Okay, so our Pokemon are, yeah, I guess our Pokemon are, are healed up and everything. So let's go right ahead and use a Bulldoze attack. And well, that right there is going to make that Pokemon flinch. So here goes Bulldoze attack. And this will lower the speed of, well, three of the four Pokemon right here. And well, everybody flinch. Somebody's roaring us. We did our job. Who is the Pokemon that you let out? And he comes out with Nacho Libre. So let's go right ahead and fly and hit Mightyena because we do not want any of that smoke against uh, Mainetric right here. Mainetric misses and hits Meowsic, hits his partner. And oh my god. Alrighty. So Mightyena has been defeated. And I, I hope that Jordan to go can hit this Pokemon. Or not Jordan the Goat, but Nacho Libre. So here comes Fly Attack. Here it comes crashing down. And Mainetric stays alive. And 
that was a bite attack. Holy buckets. Okay, so here comes the psychic attack. Our girlfriend is helping us. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. And just like that, more Team Galactic or Team Flare Grunts are defeated. I don't know why I keep on saying Team Galactic, but yes, they have been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to heal up my Pokemon because there are certain poke. Well, I guess the starting Pokemon right here, they do get healed or something like that. So, I'm just going to use up all the Super Potions. And there we go. Alrighty. And then let's go right ahead and move on. I think you have to fight four pairs of these uh, admins. And as we get to this area, Sensei, Serena. I don't believe it. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I know. I'm just going to slow you down. Dot, dot, dot. But, but friends should stick together. I'm the one who should be apologizing. You came all this way out here, and I wasn't very considerate of your feelings. You are right. Friends should stick together. What is this? Another Yu-Gi-Oh! episode or something? The power of friendship? The heart of the cards? Something like that? I do not know. Sensei, we should all get together, right? Yeah, but I'm probably going to be doing all the work, so you you girls can tag along. I know you would agree. Okay, Shauna, Sensei, I will go ahead. Stay close to us, okay? Okay, thank you. Hmm. Alrighty, so we're going to continue on right here. And as you guys can see, more Team gl or team Flare grunts and all that stuff. Why do I keep on saying Galactic? It's probably the most memorable one for me because, honestly... Team Galactic and Team Flare, same same deal. These guys, both these teams are what? They want to create a new world for for their, you know, their own purposes. And they want to kill off everybody. One wants to take away Pokemon from people and the other one wants to kill off Pokemon. So that right there is just scary. It's a very scary deal right there. Anywho, let's go ahead. Hmm. Screw it. We're going to beat both of them, so let's go straight for a bulldoze attack just to slow everybody down because we can. And that right there lowers a little bit, so here we go. Bulldoze attack. That right there will slow down everybody, and of course, Houndoom is... Yeah, Houndoom is going to nearly faint, but here comes a scary face attack, which will lower my speed and all that stuff. So let's go again with another bulldoze attack. And here comes a disarming voice. And Houndoom somehow survives. Here comes a flamethrower attack. And wow, that really does... Oh, wow, that hit us pretty hard. So here we go. Bulldoze attack for the win. And... Well... That right there finishes off Houndoom. We're going to get some more points, and, well, here comes a scary face attack. That's the only thing that this Pokemon can do. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go right ahead and, hmm, let's go with a Horn, Le uh, Horn Leech attack. Let's get some HP backs right here. That's if this Pokemon will let us. And, well, we're only going to get a little bit of HP, but it's still something. There you go, Horn Leech attack. For the win. Alrighty. Scrafty defeated. And, well, Nacho Libre does his thing too. And, uh, well, they are not happy about what, what just happened right here. So, there it is. Another victory for us. And, uh, well, I think we need to heal up our Pokemon right here. Yeah, we definitely need to uh, heal up our Pokemon. So, let's go with a full restore onto Jordan the Goat. And, well, let's see. Let's move on right here and and see what else are we going to find. And, anyway, we have to hurry it up. Okay. And, yes, we are going to get to the bottom floor right here. Now, once we get here, me and the girls, we're going to be uh, together. And there's like, it's an electrical, uh, electronic lock. What should we do? This might help. It's a device that helps you when you're stuck on a puzzle. Clement gave it to me. And a lot in a, an electronic lock and a puzzle are the same sort of thing, right? Yes. And well, she just hacked in and she's like, ta-da! The lock opened. Oh, and the device actually broke. <laughs> Amazing, Shauna. 
You and Clement's, uh, you and Clement's device are both full of surprises. So, we're finally here. The legendary Pokemon is inside. Let's go and help it. Ah. Alrighty. So, let's see. There is going to be a battle. So, um... We're going to have to get rid of all these Pokemon trainers with Star Fox. So, let's go inside and see exactly what we can do right here. And once you step forward, look at that. Holy crud. That is a big egg. And, uh, well, Serena's going to be like, we're in the deepest part of the headquarters. It's somehow hard to believe or to breathe in here. Hey! Is that thing what, that looks like a cocoon the legendary Pokemon? It doesn't look like it's alive, but... Uh-oh. And here we have a whole bunch of admins just blocking the way. That's none of your business, kid. The ultimate weapon has taken 99% of the legendary Pokemon's energy. But just to make a double sure... Or make just... Or just to make... Make or wait, wait, I can't. Hey, let me read this again. But just to make double sure nothing goes wrong, let's take these runs out. No, I hate being chased. Huh. Oh, Shauna. This again. Draven, you take care of things here. I'll protect Shauna. Uh, sure, why not? Okay. Make sure to take care of those runs and that ran away. I should have expected as much from kids who made it clear down here. It was pretty simple tactic, but it managed to split us up. That girl's pretty good. Ah. So you really think you can beat us all? I don't think. I know. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and put on uh, another another uh, droplet right here. So, let's see. Right there. And away we go. Let's go right ahead and start beating everybody. Anywho. It's always anticlimactic. Well, not anticlimactic. It's always, uh, a ch like... They always have to block you from from your destination, and it's always in rounds of four or five, which kind of bugs me a little bit. So here we are taking on Lyperd, and we're gonna just we're just gonna destroy everybody right here. So here we go. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So there you go. Another Star Fox win, and well, Moko grows to level 54, and he's about to use a main neck trick or she. Let's go right ahead. And use another flamethrower attack. Yeah, we're just going to be blazing through everybody. And this main Nectric does not faint. Good gravy. How lucky is this Pokemon? I do not know. So here we go. Flamethrower attack yet again. And there you go. Alrighty. Alrighty. There you go. Another Pokemon grows into level. Level 55. And the Team Flare admin has been defeated. You don't even try to understand Lissandre and all he suffers for. How does he suffer? I, I I don't get it. Sometimes I don't get these uh these these leaders and all that crud. So I just I just move on right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to Moko right here. And you know what? We're just gonna keep it the same right here. So let's go ahead and start beating everybody. All right, so they're talking about stealing power and all that crud. Let's go right ahead and take on a Team Flare admin. And she's going to be coming out with a Swallow. All right, perfect. We're going to go with Moko right here. All righty. Let's go, Moko. Dragon Pulse attack. And there you go. And, wow, Swallow has... Uh, Okay, so Swalla is a, a little tanky. I should probably switch out Pokemon because this is not going to end well. Let's go with Star Fox. Alrighty. Star Fox, how's it going? What to do? What to do? And here comes another stockpile attack. This Pokemon is either trying to heal or attack us or some way. So let's go right ahead and use a psychic attack. And just like that, Swallow has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. And, well, we are victorious. And, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're slowly but surely finding out the, the, the errors of their ways just by losing and all that stuff. That's kind of funny. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to go with Star Fox yet again. So, here we go. Star Fox. 
Taking all the money and stuff for ourselves will make the world where Team Flare is happy. So my question is this. If they try to do this, will they, they try to conquer the whole Pokemon world? Like, everything. I don't know. Like, every single region. Kanto, Kalos, uh, Unova. The, the regions that people don't know about at this point. You know, that kind of stuff. So here we go. Flamethrower attack for the win. And Mightyena has been defeated. Alrighty. And here comes a Hound Doom. So we're going to be switching up our Pokemon. Let's go with Moko. Alright. So I should give this Pokemon just a little bit more. Like uh, I, I should be giving it moves that is like what close to its strengths. Which we will be doing like after this whole event is done. So let's go with a Muddy Waters. And that right there hurts Hound Doom. Here comes an Embargo attack, which... Okay, that's kind of odd, because, well, yeah, I mean, I don't think I have a move that will help you or something like that. So here we go, Muddy Waters for the win. Say goodbye to good old Hound Doom. And, well, Star Fox grows to level 59, Jordan the Goat at level 57, and the Team Flare Admin has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. And, uh, well, let's see. Everybody's texting me. I'm throwing out the yes. Anywho, we got one more guy, so give me just a little break, guys. I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, we're back, guys, and, uh, yeah. Again, people keep on texting because I am very popular or something. I don't even know. Okay, so let's go ahead and battle our last uh, Team Flare member right here. And if you guys think we'll let you join Team Flare after this, you've got another thing coming. Oh, okay. Another thing or think? Okay, so here we are taking on to Team Flare admin Baldi. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his gold bat right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, continue on the onslaught of, uh, you know, Star Fox kicking some butt, taking some names, doing some, some important stuff right here. So here we go. Psychic attack for the win. And... Well, look at that. It works. Yeah, buddy. And, uh, well, Nova grows to level 55. And we have defeated the last of the Team Flare admins. Yeah. <laughs> throwing out the peace sign, guys. I am throwing out super peace signs. No way! This put the no in the no way! Contact Lissandre. Call for reinforcements. Well, you guys already know what it is. So, we're going to finish off our episode right here, guys. And, uh, well, we're going to click it right here. You guys are going to get to see the montage. But, I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on our good old buddy, Xerneas, or Evatol, right here. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.